What up, people on YouTube? This is the Rookie 360 here, and I'm back in another video. Right now it's like 1:27 p.m. or I think the time. I think I need to fix the time for this um for this laptop. But um, it's really nighttime right now. So right now it's like it's still like um wait, wait. is it right now it's still May um, but enough of that um. So um today we'll be doing something a little bit different. Now um now you guys don't know, well I never said this in my channel. Basically I actually like horror stuff. Um I do actually like scary stuff, dude. Um it's the reason why it just can be entertaining. I just love horror stuff, so um like even like conspiracy theories or dark theories or you I mean you name it. I mean I actually love dark stuff. Well not like like it's like so hardcore edgy, but um but like 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 good story and you guys know what I mean, but yeah. So and also um, I'm gonna do reaction video more often because I love reaction video. And also I am wearing glasses mainly because Saturday um I'm going on vacation, so um I'm not gonna be uploading that much, even though I don't really upload that much on my channel. But but yeah, so yeah, and also I'm in the downstairs right now. That's where I come downstairs, like um and also. Here's my Megatron. Um, right here downstairs, like that's where I do my like like stuff, my alone time. Um, this is like my own room. I do actually got some figures here, but yeah. But anyways, enough of that. Um, today we'll be reacting to um, Dang and Rumpa Darkest Moments, by um by Mandy, made it Dang Dang and Mandy. I'm sorry for pronouncing your your name, but um, now link the channel down below. So yeah, um, now you guys already know I love Dang and Rumpa. I mean, I think I already said it. Um, I do actually make videos of Dang and Rumpa. I knew you need to finish up the game. Um, I did. Um, I did. I did watch the original anime of it. Um, I can't wait to play Dang and Rumpa too. Even though like I already know what happens. Like um, I think gameplay for it. Same thing with Ultimate Spirit Girl, which Ultimate Spirit Girls um have to be my favorite. And I did see the anime Danganronpa three, the um, um, future art and the spur art. Um, I do actually have um the spur art on um on Blu-ray, where I just spent thirty bucks on it. Um, mainly because I actually love it. I I really can't wait to rewatch it. I'm I'm planning to rewatch it in the summer. So yeah. Um, and also Danganronpa V three. I never play V three, and I I see some clip gameplay of it, but I don't know none of the characters. A little bit monkey, the the the, the one with all the color red. I think she's gonna be my favorite when I play this game. But but yeah, but enough of that. Um, let's get started, shall we? Three, two, one, and go, go, go. So as some of you already know, I did a very similar sounding title to this one called "Dang on His Darkest Moments." This video will be very similar. However, we are going deeper into the rabbit hole and talk about even more darker moments of Dang and Rampa. Just wanted to say before we. start, I just wanted to say before we start the video that please give the video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the channel as we're putting a lot of Ding Rumpa content here. I know I say this in a lot of my videos, but I kind of have to in order for the YouTube algorithm to actually care about my channel. It's just one of those things. Please tell me in the comments what you think is Ding Rumpa's darkest moments as well. And in addition, I'm going to give a quick trigger warning. I'm not going to show anything in too much detail, but I know that a lot of people can get uncomfortable by these types of topics, so I'd much rather give I mean, they're entertaining anyway. not give a warning. Either way, let's get into the dark moments. Hyoko's beta death. I'm sure a lot of you have heard about this one. For whatever reason, this supposed Hyoko beta death has been spreading around the internet for a while now, and a lot of people believe it. To the point where I've actually gotten hundreds of comments telling me about it, and just in case you don't know, it's not real, it's completely fake. When you try looking up a source for this, all you'll get is this Amino post from 2017, which just by reading it, you can really tell- Oh, you better have to download the video, it's mainly because of the ad. Death in this joke post has been able to spread around as of late, and it details some really disturbing events. But in this context, I'll read out the entire page. Did you know that Chugami wasn't going to die first, but second? In reality, Hyoko was supposed to die first in the beta. Here's how it went down. Taro Taro kidnaps and kills Hyoko and cuts up her body and serves it as food. Then Tugami is killed too. 
at the trial, everybody realizes it's Teru Teru. He cries and says he put poison into the meat of Hyoko, which Akane ate. So Teru Teru gets executed and Akane dies from the poison. This was to show that anything could happen in the killing game, but this was taken out. While others say that this is laughably fake, which I can agree, I can't find the funny anywhere. <laughs> it's still pretty disturbing and horrible to think about, honestly. And like I mentioned earlier, I felt as if I needed to cover this one first to get to stop people mentioning it. So please, for both of our sakes, stop mentioning this Yoko Beta death. It's not real. It's not true. And even if you say you want to think about it as a concept death, I think it's pretty out there. It's just it's kind of fucked up. So I really hope we never have to see anything like this again. Kameda Kitty cuts off finger. Oh my god, I heard about this. So I already talked about this in my Dinger on the Iceberg I video, which if you haven't watched, I would highly recommend. It's I already did already. It's probably one of my best videos I've ever uploaded, so a link will be in the description. But at the end of the video, I talked about I'm a situation where a Nanto Kameda Kitty has supposedly cut off their finger in a Tumblr post. And in said Tumblr post was an audio file for everybody to listen to. Back in my Iceberg video, I didn't play the audio because we still didn't know a lot of details. However, with more information coming forward about the post, I'm going to play the audio file for you. If you don't want to listen to it, then skip to this time frame. Harry, here it. Oh boy. I cut this out, maybe, I don't know. What the fuck was that in? What the fuck? What the fuck? That sounded like flesh cutting. Do the worst part of it is all night time right now. While I hate listening to this, I'm very happy to say that this isn't real at all. I mentioned oh. in the past that the answer was undetermined, as it's really hard to find information since a lot of the original pages for this have been deleted, and none of them have been archived at all. However, this doesn't stop from how disgusting it is to imagine, since the original page had their own story behind the situation, which many people in the community are talking about it from this point on. I mean, I'm pretty sure people even nowadays think that this post is real, that's how much it's spread around. I think it's always going to be something that will just be brought up to make fun of Dingerama fans. I see it happen quite a lot, and it's quite absurd that people still use a fake story in order to make fun or insult others for liking Dingerama. So, you know, if you see people talking about this, make sure to let them know that it was just a Discord prank. The Student Council Killing Game I know that a lot of people mentioned this on my other Dinger on the Dark Moments video since I never covered it, but the Student Council Killing Game was a scene from the Dinger on the Free anime. If you have seen the anime, then you already know what I'm going to be talking about. In case you didn't know, the anime is actually way more brutal and disgusting than the game it was. were. Like, seriously, some of the shit that happens in the anime is just really disturbing to the point where I know some people can't watch specific scenes from the show. However, the one scene that gets pointed out quite a lot is the student council killing game. This involves the student council members in a room together, and as you can kind of guess, it just ends up with all of them killing each other. 
in very brutal ways, mind you. I'm not showing this because it's a bit too much, plus if I do, I'm pretty certain this video will get copyrighted, so uh, thanks YouTube. But the scenes are on different YouTube videos, so if you want to go watch it for yourself, then there you go. It's a shame that we never got to see more of these student council characters or more about them because I've seen countless fan art and love for them when they first appeared in the anime. Especially this girl. Everybody loved her only for her to die in the same scene that she was introduced. That's Danganronpa for you, I guess. Yeah. Danganronpa homemade Hypnotis transformation tapes. I'm going to end this video on a kind of a messed up one. Because when I looked more into it, this kind of fucked me up quite a lot. But just like the Kameda Kitty cutting off their finger, this is also a point from my iceberg video. However, after reading some more comments on what more people have to say about the topic or new information comes up, it's easily one of the things that legit freaks me out. And I can't even put it into words as to why, like, just thinking about it, just it, it gets me scared. I don't know how to explain this feeling, but I just feel really scared whenever I see this or talk about it or just even look it up. So originally I talked about a post detailing there being a video out there that would help you convince you that you are a fictional character. In this case, it was Nagito Kameda, saying stuff such as, you are Kameda, imagine your white soft hair. And basically it would put you in this like sleep state that would make you feel really relaxed and they would try to make you tell you this to your brain. And that way it would help your brain tell yourself that you are this fictional character. Now, the post ended with a Togami Kim joke, uh, basically saying that the video wasn't real and that it was that's where it was supposed to end. That was it. But when reading comments and looking more into this, there's a lot more going on than you would think. Because this is actually a thing for many different fictional characters out there, and it's very scary. Like, I may sound like I'm joking or being a bit overdramatic, but this is actually going to be a pain editing this because I legit feel so freaked out when looking more into this. I don't think I even have the energy to click on one of these videos because I feel like I would have a panic attack or something. As you can see by this comment, they say that this is something that's actually been floating around the internet for a while and it was back in the Brony fandom days. There was a lot of people attempting to make two claws, which is basically self-hypnosis, and that you're going to hallucinate a pony friend for yourself. But this wasn't enough for some people because others would make tapes for the hypnosis to imagine themselves turning into ponies. I legit can't even read more of this, I'm taking it off the video, I just remove that because I really, I don't know if you can tell by my voice, but I legit feel so freaked out just talking about this. I think the worst part is that I've just seen so many comments of people saying that they want to listen or watch these hypnosis transformation tapes to become Danganronpa characters. And all i got to say about that is don't, don't do that, please don't. Yeah. I mean, obviously it's freaking me out, but I'm pretty sure that's not good for you. I don't attempt to like look this stuff up or go and watch videos of this stuff because it's generally really just odd and weird and it's probably not good for you. So <laughs> you can probably tell I'm a bit, a bit shaken up by this, but I don't have the energy to make a real, like a long outro or anything. So I'm just going to say that thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you all have a good rest of your day. Bye. All right, guys. So I'm back. So um, so um, let's just review Sir, shall we? Now let's start with the first one. Um, Kyoko's um beta dip. Now, yeah, I know it's fake, but you gotta admit it's still pretty creepy, dude. I know, it, like, it's not official. Like, it's not, it's not real. It, it was just a prank from like one of the people. But you gotta admit it's still pretty disturbing. Like, t like Teru Teru, like, killing Hyoko, and, and cooking her body into food and putting poison, and, and of course, Akanya Awadi eats it, and but Teru Teru gets executed, and also Akanya dies from food poison. But yeah, I know it's fake, but... You gotta admit, it's still pretty disturbing, dude. Now, Hiyoko, I don't even give a 
I don't even I don't even like the character, but does he really deserve that? Yeah, by the way, Hyoko is my least favorite. But I don't think she really deserved that painful, that, that pain. But yeah, it's still pretty disturbing. Even though it's not real, it was just a prank, but it's still pretty disturbing, fucked up. Now, um, you know, I don't care. I'm, I'm, I'm going in order. I don't care. So, um, um, now the negative or like, Whatever it's called, where those kids like cut their finger, just now. Yeah, I saw this in the iceberg video. Now, um, yeah, I'm one of those people who was kind of curious. Yeah, I was curious about the audio. Yeah, not gonna lie, it was kind of disturbing. Not gonna lie. Well, I get it and finish the whole thing. I was so happy. I was kind of a little bit disturbed of it, but watching a second time. Yeah, I was pretty disturbed, but if I remember correctly, like Danky and Ma Mandy like mentioned, like uh, in one of his videos, said like it was actually a prank. So he like, actually, I don't know which video was it, but yeah, but um, but it turns out the video was fake, but it is real. It's still pretty disturbing, even though it's not real, it could still be disturbing, you know. Now, Danganronpa 3, the anime, now, I do love the anime, now, Danganronpa 3, the anime, um, hell, it's, like, one of the most gory Danganronpa, like, it's more disturbing than the first one, the second, Ultimate Spare Girls, well, Ultimate Spare Girls kind of close, and, hell, even Danganronpa 3, because the execution from every Dang from the main three games, um, they don't make any sense. They're kind of stupid. Um, and you know, if we, when we see the characters die, they're not really that. They're just like now dead. They're now like de de decapitated. Well, besides Nikamaru, like he was the only character with get tapit, like really get decapitated. And Dinkin Rampa too, but he was just a robot. But it still kind of counts as scary. But but Dinkin Rampa three. You gotta admit, like, like it feels like like the death was more realistic. Now in the future arc, um, like the blood, like it was no longer pink; it was like legit realistic red blood. And um, but yeah, like you gotta admit, like the dang the Danganronpa three, the anime was pretty disturbing, like especially where how the character dies. And the way that Chiaki and Nami died, now yeah. Now the way Chiaki and Nami died in Danganronpa 2 was like, eh, well. I mean, yeah, the EQQ, they look silly, in my opinion, all of them. They're, they were all silly, but um, even Chiaki and Nami, the EQQ was silly. Well, to me, but, but in the anime, the way she dies, was pretty disturbing. Like she legit like died like in a painful way. But but but, we're, but let's talk about like the kid whatever they're called. Their design are legit wasted. Like we first get the introduce this character and they already killed them off already. All of them they all pretty much killed each other. But yeah, it was pretty disturbing. Like they all just went and killed each other because they were been blackmailed. But, um, the way they all die, but, yeah, it was pretty disturbing, um, it was recorded, have you seen the anime, I'm gonna say the spoiler, like, it was recorded, and the whole world see it, and they have complained about OSP Academy, well, the death of those teenagers, oh, yeah, and also, like, when they were, like, all killing each other, like, the last guy standing, um, he think he also, he think he actually is the survivor, but, he wouldn't face um each of Ryu Kamakurama. But um which uh I'm pretty sure what he looked like, um if I if I done editing um 
um, so basically what happened, he, he tried to attack them, and um, basically, he threw a karma karma with too tough, so he just had him like it was nothing, and the way he was, he died, it was brutal. Like, he had a gun and a chainsaw, and he, he landed on the chainsaw, and his head was cut, cut, cut off. Like, that's something you don't really see in Dank and Rumble, like, you tap it, like, limb coming off. You just mostly see a dead body with blood. And that's it, but you don't see, like, someone, like, head chopped off. You actually legit see the head actually come off. Like, if you watch the anime, like, the Danganronpa 3 anime was really disturbing, like, the blood and gore. But, yeah. But, um... Now, finally, the last one, whatever it is. Um... About, like, saying something like, um, I don't know, what was it like? Like, saying, like, you're a Danganronpa character? Not gonna lie, that was pretty disturbing, but... I, I know a lot of crazy people will do that, but for me, hell no, I ain't doing that shit. But yeah, look at that. It's like nighttime right now. I don't know what time it is, and um, I'll probably like edit. I'll edit this um later. I don't know, but um, I won't be able to sleep tonight. Damn. But I will, but I actually quite enjoyed it. They did give me a good scare, but um, I'm gonna like react to more creepy stuff in the future. So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, love, share, subscribe. I will be definitely upload more Danganronpa content. So yeah, see you guys next time.